feel like I've come full circle. These are my Neo 7 segment displays. The very first boards that I made to sell on Tindy. Well, these ones aren't because these are 2020-1. I am making and selling Neo 7 segment displays again. How exciting. They've been out of stock for a really long time. But I've had people on a wait list. And you know what? There's just no reason at all that I shouldn't keep selling these because they sold really well. And now that I can pick and place them, I don't have to hand assemble them anymore, which is super exciting. So I'm going to paste some up now and put them on the pick and place machine, finish them off, reflow them and test them and see how they go. Let's get started. So we have a stencil. Oh, that's wedged nice and tight, which I guess is good. We need to paste this up. Probably want to hold this down just with some masking tape to make sure it stays still. So about 3D printing noise in the background. I have lots of Whopper cases to print. So I used to build these one at a time because I just had a single stencil. There was no point panelizing them. But now that I've got a pick and place machine, we penalize, penalize everything. Ooh, look at that. Excellent. Let's get in the pick and place machine, shall we? This feels like just coming home to an old friend. I haven't optimized the pickup heads. So you'll see it's only going to be using one head at a time. That's fine. This is still about 20 times faster than I could do them by hand. Here we go. Excellent. Most excellent. So I still have a resistor on each and a 3535 RGB LED to put on each one. But other than that, wunderbar. And look at that beautiful pick and place goodness. That is excellent. That pick and place that faster than I could have got the components out myself. So all I need to do now is put some extra components on and stick it in the reflow oven. Put the two 3535mm RGB LEDs for the decimal places. And we're going to put two resistors on. 300 ohm resistors. Just over here. Let's put it in the oven. And straight out of the oven, all nicely reflowed. See? Nothing falls off. Excellent. So let's test it. I've got a little tiny Pico testing jig set up here. All I need to do is touch the wires to the pads. Beautiful. And this one. Excellent. So, we have a working board. Of course we've got a working board. So this is identical, really, to the 
version that I've got currently on GitHub and that I was selling before, except that I've moved all of the 0805 components back down to 0603. Otherwise, it's the same dimensions. It's, yeah, identical. It's got the different pads on the bottom that let you either connect. If you don't want to connect via these header pins at the top, you can just solder onto the bottom, in and out. And there's also pads here if you want to connect from the bottom and daisy chain them. So, there it is. My Neo 7 segment, back. It's back, yay. It's very exciting for me. These are available now on Tindy. In packets like this, all pre-assembled. So I used to sell these for $9.90 in a kit form and an extra $5 to assemble them for you. But I'm no longer selling them in kit form just because it's too hard to hand solder these. So they're just assembled, but at $9.90. I don't have to hand assemble them anymore. I can pick and place them, it's much quicker, so I am keeping the original kit price for fully assembled boards. How's that for a good deal? I don't have a lot, so if you want one, or a few, grab them while they're there. I will be making more, but I don't have any more PCBs left, so make sure you don't miss out. Okay, thank you for watching, catch you later, bye.